Hello, trumpets! Today, we're going to identify the different parts of your instrument, what they're called. We're going to learn how to oil the valves. And then we're going to work on the first two notes, letter C and letter D. So go ahead and grab your trumpet case. Now, when you open your case, you want to have it on a flat, sturdy surface. So the floor or a table. You want to make sure that the buckles and the handle are facing you. If they're on the other side, away from you, that is not how you should open it. So spin it around. Now, your case is going to have a label that has a name of the company that made your instrument. That's the top of your case. So when you lay your case down, you should be able to see that label. If you don't, that means your case is upside down. Never, ever open your case upside down. Okay, lay it on a flat surface, open the buckles, and take a look at your instrument. Okay? The first thing we have is your mouthpiece. The top part is called the cup. The bottom part, this is the part that goes inside your trumpet. This top part, the cup, is the part that we buzz into to make our sound. So, to properly buzz, you have to keep the corners of your mouth very tight. You're going to keep your cheeks in close to your teeth. You don't want to puff your cheeks out. And then by holding that all very tight, you're going to blow air and vibrate your lips. That's called buzz. Try that with me. Now, the slower you buzz, the lower a sound you're going to get. And the faster you buzz, the higher the sound. That's going to help us change notes. So I want you to hold your mouthpiece right in the middle of your lips, right underneath your nose. Take a deep breath. Keep your cheeks in tight. <laughs> Try again to buzz with me. <laughs> now slow it down and see if you can get a low sound. <laughs> And now buzz very fast. See if you can get a high sound. Good. Let's talk about the body of your instrument. This big part is called the bell. The bell is where the sound comes out of your trumpet. This is made out of metal. You have to be extremely careful that you don't hit it on anything because metal will dent. You do not want to get dents all over your trumpet. Be very, very gentle. Okay, in the middle of your trumpet, you have three buttons that go up and down. These are called valves. Now, the valves have parts on them that twist, okay? You don't ever want to twist and take it apart because inside the mechanisms have to line up perfectly. And if you get them out of alignment, your trumpet will not work. So please do not twist these. 
Leave them how they are. This here is called the pinky ring. And then this is called the lead pipe. You're going to take your mouthpiece and put it into the lead pipe and give it a little twist. That little twist is going to make sure that it doesn't fall out if you turn it upside down. Okay? Now, when you're not playing your trumpet, your bell should come onto your leg. So when you're sitting in a chair, it's resting here. You don't want to put it on the floor because it could fall over. You don't want to set it on the chair because it will fall off. You're going to rest it on your leg. There, you can see my leg. Okay? Alright. If your valves do not go up and down, that means they need a little bit of valve oil. So you should have a bottle in your case. This one's blue. Some of them are clear, but you want to look for the word valve oil, okay? This is a lubricant that makes the metal slide inside the tubes, and you only need a little bit. So I'm going to show you how to oil your valves. Take the cap and set it on the table. Take your trumpet and turn it upside down. So the valves are now on the bottom. Each valve case has a tiny hole. You're gonna take the valve oil, you're gonna line it up with the hole and put two drops. One, two. Go to the next one. One, two. Go to the next one. One, two. Now set this on the table. With your trumpet still upside down, press the valves up and down. And that's going to take the oil and it's going to work its way all the way through the piping. Now you only want to put two drops because if you put more than that, when you turn your trumpet back over, it's all going to fall out of those holes and it's going to stain your clothes. So here's another thing you should do. Grab a tissue. Wipe it off. And then it's safe to turn it over. Okay. Let's work on holding your trumpet. We're going to start with your left hand. Your left hand, the thumb, is going to go right by that first valve. The valve that is closest to the mouthpiece is valve number one. Okay? All your other fingers are going to wrap around the tubes, and there's a little circle here. You're going to put your middle finger in that circle. Okay? This is what your left hand should look like. Notice that it's all under the lead pipe. Now we're going to work on your right hand. Remember I told you this is called the pinky ring? Take your right hand and put your pinky in that little hook. And then you're going to set your fingers on the valves. Three, two, one. You're going to take your thumb and put it right by your other thumb so that they crisscross. See how they make the letter X? This is how you should hold the trumpet. My shoulders are down. I'm not hunched up like this. My elbows are away from my body. I am not sticking them on my rib cage. Down and relaxed. Okay, let's work on letter C. Letter C has no buttons. So I'm going to take the three valves and I'm going to let them go up in the air. 
and I'm going to let my fingers kind of hang out above the valves. Keeping my lips tight, my cheeks sucked in, and blowing slow, gentle air, that's how you play a letter C. Try it with me and match my sound. Again. One more time. Now the next note is letter D. So to play a letter D, we're going to press down valve number one, the one that's closest to the mouthpiece, and valve number three, the one that's closest to our pinky. So our middle valve is staying up in the air. This is letter D. Try it with me. Again. Now let's go back and forth playing C, D, C, D. Try this with your fingers. C, D, C, D. Good. Let's try it. on both of those notes and I want you to memorize what you have to do with your fingers for each letter. Good luck!